Yeah, like, it doesn't have to be special. You don't have to go waterboarding on Wednesday nights or something. When so much of communication is based heavily on context and body language, how do you begin to teach communication? So one of the things that uh, we teach in the in ICC, in the mm -hmm. Institute, is that people are watching everything about you at all times. So It's not terrifying at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit scary when you realize it. In a way, everyone's watching, mm -hmm. when, especially when you're up on the platform. Mm -hmm. They're watching everything you do. Mm -hmm. And one thing we learned is that you could have the best speech in the world. You know, it's written very well, and you memorize it perfectly. Mm -hmm. But if you're standing wrong, mm -hmm. you communicate to people you don't care, mm -hmm. people turn off. Mm -hmm. Whereas if your posture is great, but your speech is not good, then you're missing another part of the picture. Mm. So that's one thing we teach. You have to watch out for the whole picture. Mm. And then um, we teach how to do very short presentations first. Mm. Uh, this is how we teach kids. Um, first, you start with uh, maybe telling a joke. Mm -hmm. Because that's a very easy way to introduce kids mm -hmm. to, to speaking because kids love making other people laugh. Mm. I think it's because when you as a kid make someone else laugh, it demonstrates that you have figured out the rules of the society to some extent mm. and kids like that. We give them an assignment like come and prepare a joke and, and, and tell it to us. Oh. And that is a way to learn the fundamentals because although it doesn't feel as serious, it's, it's not as stressful for a lot of kids, you are speaking in front of people. Yeah, it's a great way to ease people into it. Mm. And then we build on to more things like introduce yourself. Mm. And that is something that's very, very useful for kids because sometimes when I talk to people, our age and ask them to introduce themselves in a in a way that is longer than just a cursory hi my name is how old am i mm -hmm. you know they say oh there's nothing interesting about me oh i don't do anything but really they do it's yeah <laughs> you know when you get to know them you're like oh you do this and this and this everybody does most something. people do really interesting yeah. things they just don't know how to talk about it yeah and so it's very useful for kids to learn early on and that's mm. a way to introduce them to speaking and mm. these are more concrete than you expect you know it's not like I said earlier it's not magic mm. it's more like a checklist than you expect oh. you tick these boxes uh -huh. you do these things you're automatically communicating more effectively mm. and these are relevant across different cultures as well because like you mentioned different cultures have different methods of communicating that's interesting to an extent mm -hmm. a lot of them are and I think these work better in in English, which is useful for us. You know, it's not wrong to learn how to communicate mm. in English. It's just that you have to be aware when you go to another country of of, yeah. of what's different. Like in Japan, I heard that when you're a speaker, uh -huh. it's common for for the audience to close their eyes and listen. Oh, for me, I'm used to the audience. The audience like, looking at me. Like you're taught, okay, make eye contact with different people. Right. For us, eye contact means interest. Yeah. Right. But then in Japan, closing your eyes apparently means you're focusing and you're listening mm. and you're thinking about it. Right? Yeah. Whereas if I was a speaker up there and I went there and I went to Japan to speak and I saw people closing their eyes, I'd be like, what am I doing wrong here? You know, mm. You're falling asleep. Yeah. So you do have to learn which parts to adapt. Mm. But it is important to learn how to speak in your own culture first. Mm. Then you can go and adapt it to, to wherever else you need to speak. But it's important to learn where you're at first. Mm.